two error types tested in this question. Primary focus is tense. It also looks at number agreement. Let's do a quick vertical scan of the five answer options. Till this part, till the rates, there's absolutely no difference in these five answer options. Subsequently, in one or in two of these options, we have has nudged. In one, we have have nudged. But A, B, C, all three of them have provided this nudged in the present perfect tense. Choices D and D have presented nudged in the simple past. Let's look at what are the difference we have. Nudged markets higher, markets to higher levels. Three of these options have two higher levels and two of them have just stopped at the higher. Let's check out what makes sense. So the primary difference we are going to be using to decide whether it's A, B, C or D is to look at the tense. Let's read the entire sentence to find out which makes sense. Recently, hopes that the European Central Bank will reach a deal to help Spain and Italy borrow at cheaper rates has nudged financial markets. The nudging of the financial markets has started in the recent past, it's saying recently, and it is continuing till now. If an event has started in the past and is continuing till now, the appropriate tense to use is a present perfect tense. So that means we can rule out answer options D and D, which has presented this in a simple past. So D and D eliminated on account of tense. So let's look at A, B, C. Let's check out whether the usage of has or have makes sense. So we can eliminate one or two answer options. What has or have nudged the financial markets? Hopes that this European bank is going to do something is what has been nudging the market. Hopes is plural. Therefore, we need to have this entire thing presented in a plural form. We can't have the B verb as has. The B verb should be have. Choices A and C can be eliminated. Choice D is the correct answer to this question. Before you leave, do three things. One, sign up as a trial user for GMAT online course, Visa course GMAT online course at wzko.in slash core. Get started with statistics and average. Get momentum to your GMAT preparation. Pay and convert it into a paid user to get access to the remaining topics. Two other things that you can do. One, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash visaco and turn on notification. Lastly, there is one other thing that you can do. You can join as a member of this channel which is different from subscribing to this channel. There's a small monthly fee to pay to join as a member. You get some member-only perks which are not available for all subscribers. Click on the join button. Even before you pay, you'll get a listing of the member-only perks. Those member-only perks will help give a boost to your GMAT preparation. Best wishes.